So we have this information that 73% of randomly selected 398 residents will assume in a large area or from a large population oppose this particular issue. Okay, so we have to construct a 95% confidence interval for the proportion in the entire population. So for constructing this confidence interval, what we would do is we'll go to stat, then go to tests, then we are going to look for one proportion interval. So here we have one proportion Z test, but we want to construct an interval uh, in particular, right? So here we have one proportion Z interval because that's the only interval that we are looking at. So we will select it. Now it's asking for X and N, that is how many out of how many. So we know that N is 398, but X we will have to calculate. So let's quickly do that. So what X would be here? X would be, okay, let me enlarge the font size, just a moment. Okay, so X is going to be, uh, sorry about that, 0.73 times 398. So we will quickly figure it out. So we have 0.73 times 398. So that turns out to be 290.54. So we can round it to, I forgot what that was, 290.54. So we'll round it to 291 to the nearest whole number. All right. So here we go and then we'll go back to stat and then uh, we can scroll down or type uh, A right away because we knew that it was uh, A in the list of these computational procedures that we have. So we go for one proportion Z interval. So it tells us that this is 291 and here we have 398. Uh, it's already 0.95, but you know if you have to have another level, you can go ahead and change it. All right, so we will go ahead and calculate. So what turns out as our uh, one proportion Z interval? That's about 68.76% uh, to uh, 77.5%. 4%, okay, so let's just bring this in here, okay, so here we are, we have our confidence interval. So the confidence interval that we created here is 0.6876 to 0 0.77, uh, let's stop at uh, this 4.7. All right, okay, so, so what we have, 68.76% to 77.47% are the uh, bounds of the confidence interval of 95% level, okay? Now it's asking us to state the margin of error, so we can go ahead and use the formula, but here since we already have the interval computed, we can just use the interval, all right? So here we have uh, this as our lower bound, this as our upper bound of the interval, right? And at uh, the same time we have, and at the same time, as I said, we have uh, the estimate as 0.7312 if we round it, okay, 7312. So what is the margin of uh, error here? No. 
So, note that the margin of error is the length of this segment, right? That is, oh, I just made it slightly smaller, but you know what I mean here, right? So, you know, both of them are equal. Uh, let me bring it close to here, okay? So, you can do it either way, either subtract, say, uh, take point seven seven four seven minus point seven three one two okay and what uh, that uh, will be uh, we can do this uh, without using the calculator forty seven minus thirty two would be what thirty five so margin of error is how much uh, in a way four point three five percent is the margin of error or point zero four three five okay so that's the margin of error at 95 percent confidence level now let's handle a subsequent question now now the next question that we are taking up is that how large a sample must we take so that the margin of error at 95 percent level is no more than three percentage points okay so remember this we derived uh, the an equation to compute this sample size how large a sample from the margin of uh, error equation okay so the equation that we have uh, you know developed to compute required sample size is um, let's erase this because we are already done with this so just to get more writing space here okay so that is this equation right where what we have is that n is our uh, sample size okay sample size all right and uh, then p then z star is the critical z value for 95 percent confidence interval critical z value for 95 percent level so let's just first quickly find this critical value all right so the critical value z star for 95 percent confidence interval is here is standard normal curve mean is zero and standard deviation is one so z star for 95 percent confidence interval is the value of z such that the area between negative z star and positive z star is 95 percent so each of the tails get two and a half percent so the area to the left of z star uh, would be what that's this 95 percent and then we have two and a half percent so what we got here is that 97 sorry because if you add 95 with two and a half you get 97.5 so of the area is to the left of z star or in other words z star is uh, the 97.5th percentile of a standard normal distribution so for to obtain that what we can do is we can just pull up our calculator and uh, of course i have to turn it on all right so we go to second distribution now to compute the percentile we do inverse norm calculation right so we go to inverse norm and here I mean generally you have to put the mean and standard deviation but remember this for a standard normal distribution we it just does that by default for instance 
uh, we got this in here and generally you have to do this just just reinforcing the concept and there you can save a fraction of a second if you want uh, so both of them give you the same answer so what we get here is that uh, oh, where is my calculator it's right here okay so what we get here is that uh, the z star is how much the z star is about 1.96 right so we got our z star now all right so we we got the value of z star as uh, how much 1.96 all right let me enlarge this font size just to match with the other letters okay for a 95 percent confidence interval which i am abbreviating as ci all right and uh, then we have e the margin of error they want it to be three percentage points which as a number would be how much 0 0.03 all right and then p is star is uh, uh, what it is a wise guess all right and in the absence of any wise guess we take it as uh, 0 0.5 but here we have a previous value available which was uh, how much 0.73 so we may take that as 0.73 all right so now we have everything ready z star is 1.96 e is 0 0.03 p star is 0 0.73 so we can go ahead and let me get the other calculator okay so let's go ahead and uh, obtain the value all right so we quit out of here so we have a clean slate here all right so we have uh, z star which is how much 1.96 divided by the desired margin of error which is 0.03 then we will have times p star is 0.73 and then we will just put 1 minus 0.73 so it tells us that we need a sample of size 841.31 so we got our ns see I, i'm getting old so i forget things faster so it's 841.31 so 841.31 now remember this for sample size we will round it up so because it has to be a whole number okay so it's we need a sample of size 842 so you know that's an answer here I did say an answer because uh, it depends on, on what you choose your wise guess as. Some people who want to be conservative uh, want to go for the point that's closer to 0 0.5. It will give you a larger interval. But in this course, uh, in our course, you may go ahead and use 0 0.73. That is the previous estimate as uh, value of P star, the wise guess, or as I said, if no guess is available, use 0.5. It gives you larger sample size, but at least you stay conservative. All right.